The SABC's drive to promote local content has inspired many South African creatives to make the most of the opportunity it offers. It has also sparked a lively debate about the idea of a South African identity, especially when our diversity is taken into account. Artist, academic and author Kiran Thakia decided to focus on the place of South Africans of Indian origin in the broader cultural context. And this has inspired a musical project called A Place in Time. The banks of the Vaal River created a tranquil setting for a meeting of minds and creative energy as artist, academic and author Kiran Thakia joined composer, arranger and producer Johan Loss to bring A Place in Time to life. The album that we put in together is called A Place in Time. And the significance of that is about memories that have been generated over time at specific places. For instance, with Curry's Fountain, the history of Curry's Fountain with the rock concerts. Kieran sought Johan's expertise in audio production. My son suggested, why don't we come and speak to Johan? He's down the river from us. So I said, okay, fine. And I was very nervous. And, you know, Johan's an icon in the music business. He listened very patiently to the five tracks that I chose and said, okay, let's do a mix of these two songs. We chose Curry's Fountain and a song called MTSS Sunday. Within a week or two, I had the two tracks and I was just blown away. I thought, did I write that, you know? It was like mind-blowing. As an arranger, I get a demo recording. Um, in this case, from Kieran, if I can just play you a second of that. So I get the demo, uh, guitar and voice, and then I start doing an arrangement, and I add tracks. But I think in this case, that is just on track for now, but we'll get a real type of player in to come and play the real thing for us, which will be better. The singers today, they are absolutely gorgeous and beautiful singers. What he's done, he's chosen a certain singer to sing a certain song and the way they match is just amazing. Vocalist Videshni Raghavalu was next up to the mic with the song about youth and hope. It's great that we can actually find um, musicians all around South Africa to speak about or to sing about and make music about the places that affected us um, politically and affected society and that actually built society. The song that I'm singing is called Phoenix Rising and it's sort of like a dual concept. Phoenix is in the place, Phoenix. The Phoenix in Greek mythology is rising from dust, rising from nothing and it's, you know, something that becomes fire, becomes light. And that's exactly what the song says, it, it keeps us positive. It's about Phoenix but not in its real state, but more in a mythological state, sort of a more affirming thing. You know, as an artist I think more in visual terms. So I had this picture in my mind of this young child in a school ground, you know, sort of all races in the school ground, sort of just going around like this. And, and that's a sense I wanted to create, an affirming sort of thing. So the line in the song is, I'm a bird in flight. I am a bird in flight. I'm a blinding light. You see me shoot across the sky. It was time for Silas James to take his turn in studio with a song inspired by another evocative place name. The song that I'm singing is called Curry's Fountain. My music journey started, well, when I was seven or eight. My father was a pastor and uh, we used to go for crusades and we used to watch other musicians play and that's how uh, we took up that mantle of music. They put aces through their places. They had players of different races. I had been to Curry's Fountain as a kid. My dad took us there. We used to sit on this mound and watch soccer. Recently I visited Curry's Fountain. It's almost nostalgic now. It's like an empty shell of what it was and the importance that it has to the community, not just to the Indian community, but to a broader progressive community. I walked around Curry's Fountain and that memory of walking around made it easier to write about the place and then and write a song about it. And I went to 
a concert there with the flames, you know, playing For Your Precious Love. So that's a line in the song, For Your Precious Love. Singer-songwriter Taz Johnson is one of the up-and-coming artists to lend her voice to Kieran's dream. The life we left behind Like the river flowing by The dusty Her involvement in the project has given her a fresh perspective on her own heritage. Growing up, I was not made aware of my heritage and my culture. When I read uh, the song, the lyrics to Cizela, I wanted to know what it was all about. So it actually inspired me to go to Cizela and I made that trip last week. My mind was absolutely blown. I personally love my culture and the fact that I'm part of a project where I get to explore my heritage and share it with other people is amazing. The guys that I'm also working with, Johan, Kieran, Rajesh, Sodhi, I can't even explain how grateful I am to them for getting me into this and mentoring me. Lunch gave everyone an opportunity to share their thoughts on the project. Phoenix Rising and what it was and uh, the depth of the place and the sugarcane fields and, and Gandhi and all of that with the settlement, it was like, whoa. The song itself, it doesn't speak of those things, it's fond memories. The actual album is beginning to take shape in Kieran's mind. It'll have 10 or 11 songs and the title track called A Place in Time. There are songs on Linasia, called Streets of Linasia, and there's a song on Chatsworth as well, Chatsworth Calling. The short-term goal is the, the completion of the album. Sodi Naika and Rajesh Jairaj share Kiran's vision and have thrown their weight behind the project as strategic business partners. It's a passion for music coupled with uh, the strong uh, social aspect of this project. Uh, I think he's the, the key driver or the draw card for me. Uh, it's an opportunity to provide a platform for new undiscovered talent and essentially use this platform to, to launch their careers. Actually what it brings to us is the sense of touching all communities. That's the vision of A Place in Time, is to touch all communities across this wonderful nation of ours. So often we you know, create this divide between Western and Eastern music and then we associate Eastern music with uh, religion and we do the same with even our own black indigenous music. But the way this project is coming together, you're fusing Eastern and Western, and you're creating a culture that becomes indigenous to South Africa. Much remains to be done before the album is ready for release, but every member of the team is committed to creating a memorable place in time.